Yo, what's up, bro? Hey, Riley. Check out this cool cemetery that is definitely not a television studio. Yeah, wow. This place is really cool and also surprisingly well lit. Totally lit, fam. Facts, my guy. These old gravestones are pretty cool, too. Heck yeah. Check out this one over here. What's this say? Uh, I think it says... Psychological Horror Short? What a strange name. Hello? Hey, Mom. Uh, nothing much. I didn't really feel like going into work today, so I just spent the day home, I guess. It's no big deal. I mean, I, I got vacation days and whatnot. I can use a few of those. It's not like I really go any, or any vacation at all anyway, so... Ew, who cares if I don't leave the house? I don't have any friends or anything. I don't need friends. I have books. Am I really that much of a disappointment to you just because I'm antisocial? I mean, that shouldn't be what determines whether or not I'm a good person to you. It really shouldn't. <sighs> well, you know what? Maybe, just maybe, Mom, I wouldn't be like this if you got me some freaking therapy when I was a kid, you idiot. No, okay, sorry. No, Mom, I, di I didn't mean to call you an idiot. I'm sorry. I, di I didn't mean to do that. No, Mom, Mom, please. Mom, don't hang up. Mom! <sighs> oh, my... Stupid, stupid, stupid. Oh, God. Idiot. 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 Hello? Hello? The American government has reported that a giant asteroid is barreling towards Earth. Several smaller chunks of the asteroid have already hit many places all over the planet, and contact with the pieces has reportedly resulted in severe hallucinations and a strong sense of panic. We urge everybody to stay inside and lock their doors immediately. We could be facing an extinction-level event. Pick up, pick up, mom. Mom. Your call is forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Four eight zero nine zero. Mom, listen. Is it, you heard about the news, right? Listen, please, please pick up. I just want to make sure you're safe, okay? Please, please pick up.
Brooks. Brooks, open the door. Listen. I'm sorry about what I said yesterday. Brooks. 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 Oh my god. Aiden, Aiden, do you know why you're here today? Why you're in detention when you could be at a party or gorging yourself on junk food? 
Indeed I do, but I'd like to hear you say it again, Mr. Broderick. Why do you want to hear me say it again, Aiden? Oh, I don't know, just so you can remind me how ridiculous and unjust this whole thing is, perhaps? <sighs> Aiden, I'm sure you've already been through this with the principal more so than me, but you can't start fights with students. So what? Did you want me to let that punk steal that soap dispenser? <laughs> I mean, honestly, in, in my mind, I saved the school a few dollars in damages. Well, Aiden, that may be the truth, but the bottom line is, fighting is simply never the solution. <laughs> right. Who told you to say that one, the principal or the vice principal? Come on, Mr. Broderick, you and I both know that's not true. Just admit that you think this whole thing is BS and just let me go home. I'm sure this will just take a few minutes to convince the principal, right? You know I can't do that, Aiden. Just serve this one detention and then you can go home. What? Mr. Broderick, this is so unfair! It's not even my fault! Look, Aiden, I know it's maddening that some students in this school choose to do stupid things just to get their 15 minutes of fame, but that doesn't excuse what you did. Mr. Broder, can I be honest with you for a minute? Sure. I know a lot of people say this, but I, I really do feel like I was born in the wrong generation. I mean, I, I hate Snapchat, I hate TikTok, I hate Instagram, I, I just hate social media as a whole. It's all, to me, just a, a breeding ground of narcissism and stupidity and only makes society worse. Especially people my age who don't know any better. Man, it's like... I feel like I belong in the 1980s, honestly. Think about it. With all the cool tech and stuff getting created back then, it's right up my alley. All about the smartphones, the battle for Instagram likes, the 40 pages on TikTok. It's all the crap put out, but all the cool stuff is left in. And let's be honest, Mr. Broderick, the fashion in the 1980s is a lot cooler. Look, I'm sure this would make an interesting debate with one of your classmates, but you didn't live through the 1980s. I did, and let me tell you, they weren't that great. I gotta take this. Hello? I can, but I'm watching a kid for detention right now. Just one kid. You sure? Okay, fine. If it won't take long. I have to go help Mr. Wright find some missing class reports, so I'm gonna leave you here by yourself for a few minutes. Don't do anything stupid, or I'll make sure you're in here for the rest of the year. <laughs> right. Like you have the guts to do that. Oh, Aiden, you have no idea. You better watch your back, because my eyes are on you. Oh, uh, sorry, I was uh, just trying to find the bathroom, actually. Oh, okay, but watch yourself, young man. This is the time of the year the spirit comes around. <laughs> spirit? What spirit? You haven't heard of the school spirit? The true school spirit? Back in 1982, before this part even existed, a young girl was killed, stabbed in the neck six times with a black scissor. Legend has it her spirit roams the halls, looking for the one who did it. I know, I've seen her. She walks up and down the halls of the oldest section of the building. And only the oldest section. They say she'll finally be at rest. When the one who killed her dies. Perhaps then we'll know who killed her too. But of course, they say I'm crazy when I tell them I've seen her. I'd stay on the lookout. Be careful walking around the halls, young man. Right, right. Nice ask, bro. 
，好吗？ Why aren't you wearing a mask? Why would I be wearing a mask? What the hell? I know that you stole my college essay. You're crazy. You plagiarized it. I know you did, and I could have gotten into Yale with that essay. I have no clue what you're talking about. You're acting delusional right now. Lance, come on. You literally thought Christopher Columbus arrived in America in 1892. There's no way you got that scholarship on your own. I was one number off, Tina. My God. Fine. We can play that game because I have proof. What proof? I broke into your locker and I stole your original essay and it's not very good. Gosh darn it. Lance, what are you doing? Spooked. Did you see her? Shut up. Hey, do you happen to know where a yearbook at the school is from 1982? Yeah, I keep copies from every year in that classroom. Thanks. Watch your back, because my eyes are on you. Oh. Aiden, you're going to be in detention for so many days, I thought I warned you. I know what you did. <laughs> what? I know what you did, Mr. Broderick. You've done a lot of things, Aiden. You're going to have to be more specific. In 1982, 
you murdered a student at the school named Tina, and you stole her college essay and you got a Yale scholarship from it. She was gonna rat you out, but then you stabbed her to death with a pair of black scissors. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Aiden, you are delusional. Lance, you thought Christopher Columbus arrived in 1892, she says. I was one number off, Tina, you say. That was one of the last things you said to her before you killed her. I don't know how you know about that, but I'm not going to let you tell anybody. Oh my god. Nine one one. What is your emergency? What the heck was that? I don't know, man. It's like we were sucked into some sort of vortex where it's like someone is switching between different cameras and cycling between pre-produced TV segments. I don't feel so good, Christian. It's gonna be okay, buddy. Let's just go look at this other gravestone and we can give you a little break. Hey there, my name's Justin. And my name's Nick. We're here on behalf of Northern Burlington's video production to show you nice folks at home how to properly decorate for Halloween. We're going to show you the right way to make your house or other abode look great for this October season. Without further ado, let's get started. What's the first thing you think of when someone mentions Halloween? Pumpkins, of course. No Halloween is complete without pumpkins, and carving them is a big part of the holiday for a lot of people. But in case you don't have the time or don't want to get your hands dirty, Party City pumpkins are a great, easy, and clean option. No Hollow's Eve is complete without your traditional white ghost. Odds are you'll have the tools at home to dollop a white sheet with black marker, easily transforming it into a phantom. These decorations are great for the kids and aren't too scary. These are perfect for any Halloween themed parties you might be having. You can't have Halloween without spiders, right? Exactly. Arachnids are a perfect accompaniment to any spooky house. Make sure you decorate with spiders liberally in order to get the eff intended effect. Of course, you don't want to use real spiders. That would be dangerous and a bit too creepy. Amazon is a great place to get this type of non-living decoration. The power must be weird today. It's not going to stop us from decorating, though. Houses can be dark, which can be a good thing for extra spookiness, but often for parties you're going to want adequate lighting. When setting up your lighting, it's a great idea to use Halloween themed lights. It can help set the mood and stay on topic. You can get lights like these for pretty cheap online or at your local brick and mortar. Just breathe, Riley. Everything's gonna be okay. Okay, yeah, I'm good, I'm good.
That little break help? Yeah, thanks. You're a good friend. Hey, man. I try. It's what best friends do. You mm. know what else best friends do? What? They watch short, student-produced Halloween movies together. Um, my name's Edward, and... Just breathe, ma'am. It's okay. I'm kind of weird. You got this. Just push. You got uh... this. Breathe. Breathe. Ever since birth, I've been a bit unique, to say the least. Oh my god! He doesn't have any hands! My dad... Uh, yeah. We gotta get him to the ER stat! I was rushing to the operation room. Please save my baby, please! Scalpel. Scalpel. Hands. Hands. Ah, ah. Bandages. Bandages. All right. Where's my child? Ma'am, I have some bad news. Unfortunately, they were missing just what I needed. Oh my gosh! <laughs> my mother, she died of shock. Years later, I was moving to a new school. Your hands are stupid, Edward. Edward? Edward! Oh no, not that Edward, that was Two. inappropriate. Two. Edward? Edward. Get your butt down to the principal's office no. now. Look. Edward! <laughs> No, Mr. Knight! No! Who are you? It's me, your father! I came here to hit you! Ah! It's over. I'm being serious, Christian. What is this, a joke to you? Some kind of game or something? All right, I'm sorry, Riley. It's not a joke. It's not a game. But guess what? What? This is. Hello, and welcome to Jeparity, Halloween edition. I'm your host, Nicole Coslino, here today with Sarah Potter and Brooks Wezak. Oh my god, I'm on TV. Without further ado, let us get started. Our categories of the day are horror movies, family-friendly movies, classic Halloween movies, Tim Burton movies, and new and upcoming Halloween movies. Sarah, which category would you like to start with? Family-friendly movies for 100. The characters of Halloween Town wish to travel to this town. When is Halloween Town? That is correct, awesome job, and that's 100 points for the gray team. Brooks, which question would you like to start with? Uh, horror movies for 200. In this horror movie, the protagonist writes a book that contains only... The Shining. Correct. That is 200 points for the gray team. Sarah? Which question would you like to start with? Um, family-friendly movies for 400. The movie where witches recruit fellow monsters and help them to fit in at a high school. And that would be... Halloween Town. Brooks, which question would you like to answer next? Horror movies are 300. This horror movie kills someone by forcing them to eat too much. Seven. That is correct. 300 points for the blue team. Sarah, which question would you like to answer next? 
classic Halloween movies for 200. This classic Halloween movie features... Halloween. That is correct. 200 points for the blue team. Brooks, which question would you like to answer next? New upcoming Halloween movies for 100. This upcoming movies, movie sequel returns with the character... The Adam Family 2. That is correct. 100 points for the blue team. Sarah, which question would you like to answer next? Um, new and upcoming Halloween movies for 200. This newly released movie features the real life couple. Quiet Place Part 2. That is correct. 200 points for the blue team. Brooks, which question would you like to answer next? Uh, horror movies for 500. Nine people associated with this horror movie died during production. Oh, crap. Uh, Roar? No, I believe it's The Exorcist. Oh, yeah. My apologies. 500 points deducted from the blue team. Sarah, which question would you like to answer next? Um, new and upcoming Halloween movies for 300. This newly released horror movie depicts the first time that demonic possession was used. Conjuring the devil made me do it. That is correct. 300 points for the blue team. Which category would you like to answer next? Uh, new and upcoming Halloween movies for 400. This newly released horror movie is a remake of a classic one and is directed by Jordan Peele. Um, I think you're talking about Candyman. You have 400 points. Sarah, which question would you like to answer next? Um, classic Halloween movies for 300. This classic Halloween special focuses on the best friend of its main character and his fascination with a great spirit. Um, it's Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown? That is correct. 300 points for the blue team. Brooks, which question would you like to answer next? New and upcoming for 500. This upcoming Halloween movie sequel, a horror movie sequel, in a new installment trilogy features... Halloween Kills? That is correct. 500 points for the blue team. Sarah, which question would you like to answer next? Um, Family-friendly movies for 200. In this movie, the main character says... Hotel Transylvania? That is correct. Uh, 200 points for the blue team? All right. Brooks, which question would you like to answer next? Four movies for 100. In this horror movie, the other students... Carrie. That is correct. 100 points for the blue team. Sarah, which question would you like to answer next? Family-friendly movies for 300. In the movie Hocus Pocus, this song is sung by Winifred at the adult's Halloween party. And that would be, I put a spell on you. Brooks, which question would you like to answer next? Uh, classic Halloween movies for 400. This classic Allo animated Halloween movie, movie villain is called the Bill Nam. Coraline. That is correct. 400 points for the blue team. Sarah, which question would you like to answer next? Um, family friendly movies for 500. The movie in which a ghost tries to escape his three toxic friends. And that would be Casper. Brooks, which question would you like to answer next? Classic Halloween movies for 500. This classic Halloween movie includes the quote, she is at the very special age when a girl has only one thing on her mind, homicide. Peppers? No, that would be the Adams Family. Uh. Sarah, which question would you like to answer next? Um, Tim Burton movies for 100. The Tim Burton movies main character? Edward Scissorhands. That is correct, 100 points for the blue team. Brooks, which question would you like to answer next? Uh, Tim Burton for 200. In the Tim Burton movie Beetlejuice, the titular character summoned in this way. And that is by saying his name three times. Sarah, correct? Which question would you like to answer next? Um, Tim Burton movies for 300. The main character in the movie Frank and Weenie. And I believe that would be Charlie Tahan. Brooks, which question would you like to answer next? Uh, Tim Burton movie for 400, I guess. So. This classic Tim Burton movie's protagonist can remove their head. Beetlejuice? No, that would be The Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh. And Sarah, in this Tim Burton movie, the main character um, reunites with their late dog in the afterlife. Frankenweenie? No, that would be Corpse Bride. Okay. And our winner is Blue Team with 2,700 points. 
Blue Team has won this round, guys. Thank you so much for joining us for our show, and we will see you next time on Japarity. Well, I'll take spooky Halloween fun for 1,000, Alex. Dude, what is happening here? What is this place? What do you mean? It's just a totally normal, everyday, run-of-the-mill cemetery, and certainly not anything creepy or supernatural in any way whatsoever. Why, why do you say it like that? Say it like what? Like how you just said it? Like you meant the exact opposite of what you said? Stop it. You silly goose. Here's another short film or two to take your mind off it. Hey, no, wait! You know what, man? I've had enough of this. I'm out of here. Wait, wait, wait. Don't go. The real fun was just about to begin. I don't want to hear it. I'm out of 5,000. Uh, okay, wait. Okay. It's time to come clean. Come clean about what? Well, I see dead people. What? Like, for real? Yeah. Ever since I, w I walked through this gate, I've been seeing dead people. That's wild, man. I can't believe you see ghosts. Oh, no, no, no. Wait. I never said that I can see ghosts. What are you talking about? You just see dead people? I mean, yeah, we're in a cemetery. We're surrounded by dead people. They're everywhere. I can't with you, Christian. I'm out of here. Wait. Hold on. I, I wasn't lying. There's dead people all over. 